Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a What I Got For Christmas Haul 2021. When I'm uploading this, I think it's actually the new year. So happy new year, happy 2022. Hopefully this year is gonna be a little bit more positive and just an all round better year for every single one of us. For today's video, I am gonna be doing my What I Got For Christmas haul, which is a little bit of a tradition on my channel. It's one of my favorite videos to film along with what I got for my birthdays. I love watching them back because this is my seventh year doing this video. So you can go back and see what I got for Christmas for seven years and like things I got for Christmas when I was 14, you know, I don't necessarily remember off the top of my head, but it's really nice just to be able to go back and have a look at that video and also just look at how much I've grown up. If you look at how different I look seven years ago, it's actually crazy. Um, I will leave the videos linked down below if you do want to go and watch any of my other what I got for Christmases. Um, but yeah, this is my seventh year in a row. I do just want to put a little disclaimer at the beginning that I'm not trying to brag or boast in any way, shape or form. I am so, so, so grateful for everything that I've got for Christmas this year. And I know that I've been incredibly lucky and I just love sharing it with you guys because I know you guys are watching it. And like I said, it's just a little bit of a tradition on my channel and I also love watching these myself. I honestly look forward to watching everyone's what I got for Christmas. I feel like it's just like a little tradition, like what to do with your spare time between like Christmas and New Year, even though I am uploading this as my first video in the New Year. Also, let me know down below some videos that you guys want to see in the New Year. I have got lots of ideas and I'm doing a lot of traveling, fingers crossed, this year as well, which is going to be so exciting and I can't wait for you guys to see the vlogs and everything like that. And I'm also getting my car, which is going to make the biggest difference to my videos. Um, but yeah, just let me know down below if there's anything in particular that you want to see on my channel um and yeah i can see if i can make it happen but for the last christmas video of 2021 i am going to be doing a what i got for christmas haul so i hope you guys enjoy if you do please smash a huge thumbs up and other than that let's get started i don't know where to start do i start with my mum i get yeah i guess i'm gonna start with my mum so my mum has i'm not gonna lie she spoiled me this year i have been very very lucky one present we actually went half on because it was quite expensive and my mum was saying that she was going to spend this money on me and i wanted to get something that i knew i was going to absolutely love um so we went half on something but i'll show you that in a second i actually got two main presents this year which i'm very very grateful for because my mum did not have to get me this at all but my mum actually got me my favorite perfume you know that tiktok that's going around at the moment like if you smell me this is what i smell like this is it it is the mason francis baccarat rouge 540 and i have just never smelled a perfume as incredible as this all my friends say yep yeah, this is literally what you smell like like every time you go in my clothes or me whatever i smell like this it is very expensive like i'm not gonna lie it's stupidly expensive but it is so long lasting and as soon as you literally spray like one bit on you it lasts all day and that is all you'll smell of i am so in love with this perfume and i've got a bottle already and i've got like maybe this much left because i use it every single day um so yeah my mum got me another bottle and it is already she's ready for 2022 she is gorgeous i love her there's loads of different perfumes that this brand do but the back of that rouge 540 is my favorite one i have got the candle actually um which staff got me as well in the office and it's oh my god it's incredible oh i just love it and yeah if you've ever wondered what i smell like it would be this and then my other present that we actually went half on was something that i've wanted for a really long time and i just never bit the bullet and got it because i was like no i'm not spending that much on a dressing gown um and for christmas i was like no you know what i will wear it all the time because i live in a dressing gown um so i'm gonna get it so me and mum went half and i got the bottega Veneta dressing gown i think i'm gonna have to put a picture on screen of what it actually looks like because you're not really gonna be able to get the gist of it just by like me holding holding it up um, but a lot of people went for the green one but I actually wanted to get the cream one just because I feel like the green is amazing and I love it but I feel like the green will have its time in the sense of like everyone will get it and then a couple of months after that you've just got like a bright green dressing gown do you know what I mean I really wanted it but I was like no I'm gonna get the cream one because it's a color that I love all year round anyway like I live in like cream black white and gray they're literally my favorite colors and I just loved the cream to be honest and it's got the classic Bottega Veneta pattern all the way down it and then it's got like two big pockets and it's just so big and it's so fluffy and it's like a toweling sort of material but like an extremely soft toweling when i got back last night i was looking at myself in the mirror and i was like oh mum did good but yeah so this is my new dressing gown i am in love with her she is so comfy and she is probably one of my favorite presents that i've ever got purely because i will use it every single day and same with the perfume i'll use it every single day so like my mum got me things that like i'm always going to use and then my mum actually got me some little bits as well so first of all she got me a lush gift set which i was so excited 
excited about because I haven't had Lush in so long and Lush was shut on Boxing Day. They actually opened for their sales the day after so the 27th and we went Boxing Day sale shopping on the 26th. So I couldn't get anything but my mum actually got me it for Christmas. So she got me the Snow Fairy gift set which comes with the Snow Fairy bath bomb and the Snow Fairy shower gel. And I was already so excited by that. And then I opened another present and it had more Snow Fairy stuff in. So she got me the Snow Fairy body spray which if you haven't smelled this it is so strong. Like honestly you spray it and you could smell it the other side of the room. It is so long lasting as well and I actually had this a couple of years ago and I loved it so much. Let me just spray a bit actually. Oh no it's still got this. Oh here we go. Oh my, it is actually crazy. It smells like a Lush store. So I got this. I am going to be smelling it good. So if you ever wonder what I smell like, like I was saying, it's that. And it's also this. And then my mum said when she was in Lush, a lovely girl who actually watches my videos was helping her out. So hi, shout out to you. Thank you for helping my mum do our Christmas shopping. My mum was telling her that I love Snow Fairy scent. And the girl actually said that brand new for this year, they had a Snow Fairy candle. Oh my God. When I opened this, I was like, you are kidding me. And Obviously, it's got the classic Snow Fairy scent, but I haven't lit it yet because obviously I've only just got home last night. Um, but I'm going to light it, I think, tonight. So I'm going to be interested to see how long-lasting the scent is and if it's really strong because when you smell it in the candle, it is so strong. So yeah, I don't know if they did any other scents or whatever in the candles, but I had no idea they were doing these. So when I opened it, I was so excited. Um, so yeah, I got this. Thank you so much, Mum. I love it. And then, basically, if you guys haven't watched my family Christmas mukbang, I will leave it linked down below if you haven't. There was a question in it where we were talking about Christmas chocolates and my mum was getting so offended that I kept saying that like something was at my favourite over quality streets and I was so confused I was like why is she getting so annoyed like it's just a chocolate but she genuinely was getting so upset and I now understand why because she got me a tin of quality streets for Christmas that has my name on it in John Lewis this year they were doing this like personalised quality street tin and you could choose what quality streets you want in it so I love it because there's a lot of quality streets that I don't like which is why it wasn't my favourite Christmas chocolate but the ones that she got put in this i love so it says on it anastasia street which is so cool i'm gonna keep this tin forever like every christmas i will just buy quality street and then put them in this tin because it's so cool you got to choose what chocolate you had in it so my mum just got me a tin of all of my favorite ones and she put in there a lot of the exclusive to john lewis caramel crisp ones so my tin is actually filled with these yellow ones the fudge stick ones and then the how and then the caramel crisp ones and yeah i'm so excited when i opened it i was like now i understand why you were getting so upset about it but yeah i absolutely love it so thank you so much mom i'm gonna eat all of those chocolates because those are the ones that i like and then i had an idea that my mum was gonna get me one of these but i didn't realize she was gonna get me all of them so basically in aldi they have got a load of bath and body works dupes out at the moment and i don't know if you guys remember the phase when everyone wanted like bath and body works the candles the shower gels the hand creams or what else do they do what else have i got here oh the hand soaps the foam in hand soaps and this year Aldi actually bought out the dupes and my mum bought one and put it on her Instagram and I replied saying oh my god I really want one of these and my mum came through there was three different scents but mum didn't think that I'd like the third scent so she just got me the two scents that she thought I'd like so she got me the winter cookies one and the gingerbread latte so these are the shower gels and obviously it's super affordable because they're dupes so get yourself down to Aldi I mean it is after Christmas house so they might not have them um, but go and have a look anyway so I've got yeah the gingerbread latte one and the winter cookies shower gel and then I've also got the hand cream in again the winter cookies and the gingerbread latte i'm gonna put these out by my sinks and then i've got the foaming hand soaps i'm so excited the winter cookies one and the gingerbread latte one mum has got these all around her house at home and i was using them like wow i want these and then i opened them up on christmas days so i was so excited and like i said they're so affordable um so yeah make sure you get yourself down to aldi they might do like non-christmas scents in them but yeah i was so excited thank you so much mum and then attica's got me for christmas which i am so excited about i've literally just been talking about bath and body works dupes but attica's actually got me aka my mum a actual bath and body works candle you can get them on next and they've been sold out for so long so i don't know how i managed to get it but she got me warm vanilla sugar when i go to america this year all i've been talking about to my mum is mum we're going to raid bath and body works we're going to go to the mall we're going to buy all the candles um and she obviously listened and she got me one early so yeah this is warm vanilla sugar and oh my god bath and candles actually like are just different breeds of candles like you light them don't get me wrong they burn very quick but you light them and they make the whole house smell like when i first moved in here i lit one of them that i had because they're three wicks so obviously they burn quite quickly and you could smell it like down the hallway by the lifts which is like quite a walk from my front door and it just made my whole floor smell of the candles so i cannot wait to burn this and the packaging is gorgeous it matches my living room so attica's mum i am over the moon with that so thank you so much oh another thing my mum got me 
me, I completely forgot to say, she got me some socks. And I've never been more excited to open socks on Christmas Day than I have this year. It really does show my age and that I'm getting older now because I was that excited about getting socks. But yeah, my mum got me some trainer socks, so thank you. Next up, I have got my nan. And my nan got me the most beautiful present. She always gets me just the nicest, most sentimental things for Christmas. And for me, they're the best things to have because it's just, I don't know, I don't want to be like morbid, but like in years to come, like it's just lovely to like have and like look back on. Do you know what I mean? It was in like a big brown Harris box and there was a little gold envelope on top and it said a gift for you. And then I opened it up and it says, to my beautiful granddaughter, Anastasia, when you want my arms around you, give Angus a big hug and imagine Nanny's arms there with you, only a bear hug away. Love you always, Nanny. I cried on Christmas day, I'm not even ashamed to admit it. I cried when I opened it because this is my little teddy bear, Angus. And it's things like this that mean more to me than anything because I will have this forever. I slept with it last night in my bed and I was like, oh my God, I was just laying there like this at night like i absolutely love it so yeah this is angus everyone he's in a cute little winter's outfit and it's got a little harrods mark on his thing and then like a little harrods oh it's just so beautiful and it says harris 2021 it's basically the christmas fair um and yeah i absolutely love it so thank you so much nan this is probably my favorite present that i got when i opened it like i said it made me cry so yeah i love it and every time i miss my nan now i can just hug angus and then pam actually got me some matchmakers which i actually didn't realize were quality streets. I've only just realised that. I know she saw my video where I said these are my fave and then she got me done, so thank you very much. And then she also got me this beautiful reed diffuser as well, which let me just get out of the box to show you. It's this gorgeous little heart and I'm actually going to put this out in the office and I love it. So I need to get some liquid and little diffuser sticks for it. But yeah, how beautiful is this? It reminds me of like angel wings. On it, I can't explain it, but yeah, I love this. So thank you so much, Pam. And then my uncle actually got me a gift card for next as well, which I already know I'm going to try. I'm going to save it until Bath and Body Works is back online and then I'm gonna get another thing from Bath and Body Works with this so thank you Chris I love it and then Saf also got me some incredible presents which we filmed in our Christmas best friend gift swap so I will leave that link down below if you do want to go and watch that and see what Saf got me and then Freya and Callum also got me the loveliest present so Callum got me it's in the office I completely forgot to bring it in he got me this Morphe lip gloss I was in Morphe with him and I was looking at it and I really wanted to get it but we were just in a rush and he actually went back and got me it which was so cute and then and then he got me this massive truffle oil and basically I I had truffle fries and truffle mash when we went to London and I fell in love with it. It was so, so nice and he took note, bless him, and he got me some truffle oil, which I'm so excited about. So I'm going to make some truffle mash. And then Freya actually surprised me and she took me out for Alice in Wonderland themed afternoon tea and it was beautiful. I vlogged it. It's actually in my vlogmas if you want to go and watch it. And we had like a cake stand filled with like mixed match sandwiches and like cakes and like scones or scones, however you say it. Um, and you got to choose like a big pot of tea. So we had like an English breakfast tea, best tea I've ever tasted. And it was just so nice because I love Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland has a very special place in my heart for like many reasons. And yeah, so she took me to do that, which was so much fun. And then I saw Tanisha when I went back home and she actually gave me some belated birthday presents, which are also kind of like Christmas presents. So I'm going to show you. She got me a bracelet, which is in my bedroom and it's like gold and it's got like Swarovski crystals on it. It is beautiful. And then she also got me the Tequila Rose gift set, my favorite drink ever. Um, and you get the two shot glasses with it, which is so exciting. And then she also got me a cocktail making kit because every time I try and make cocktails, which I've tried to do several times, I don't have a shaker. Um, and now I have a shaker. And she said she got one and she's never looked back since. So yeah, very excited about this. Thank you very much, Tanisha. That is everything that I got for Christmas this year. Again, thank you so much to everyone who got me something in this video. I'm very, very grateful. I absolutely love everything. I hope you all had a lovely Christmas. I hope you all had some time off and I hope you ate some good food. I know I certainly did. And yeah, that is the end of this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please smash a huge thumbs up. I will leave all the videos that I've said linked down below so you guys can go and binge watch them and yeah other than that I will see you very soon for a brand new video Mwah. bye